specifically our union after several years of waiting and persistent calls on the government to fulfill its agreement with us on the present needs for intervention to arrest the debilitating rot in the Nigerian Public University in 2013 followed by a series of MOUs and MOAs with a two weeks warning strike early in March 2020 which yielded no positive response from government the union was left with no other option than to pro uh, proceed on an indefinite industrial action on 23rd March 2020 this was at the just as the COVID was just coming out compatriots the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic with its attendant problems has not only exposed our country's ill preparedness for any form of challenges it has also justified ASU's persistent calls for proper funding of education and research activities as genuine drivers of national development this embarrassing emptiness was actually expressed by the minister of Edu uh, health in a moment of exasperating frustration when he intoned that he never knew that there was nothing on ground in our health institutions at the peak of the scourge other countries that ha were more committed to their education and research activities through proper funding courageously called on their academics for urgent intervention aimed <coughs> at arresting the scourge in nigeria on the other hand the government and members of its political elite continue to conspire against the ability of the research and academic units in Nigerian universities to reverse this scourge. To make matters worse, while in other places, academics were being encouraged to square up to the COVID challenges, the Nigerian government chose to deploy hunger on its own for daring to ask the government to govern responsibly in terms of honoring agreements which will ensure proper funding of our educational activities. The call then by the Nigerian Labor Minister on the Nigerian academics to get busy in the laboratories in search of solutions to COVID-19 rather than playing dra uh, draft and ludo at home is to say the least demeaning and provocative. <coughs> we should get busy at empty <laughs> we, we should get busy in the empty laboratories which they have perpetually refused to fund this is the big question that Nigerians should join hands with ASU to ask our government on the call on the call for the resumption of schools our union notes that there have been agitations from some quarters for the government to reopen schools leading this campaign are the proprietors of private universities ASU is not in any way opposed to this call however Nigerians should honestly interrogate this position as the Nigerian government made the NCDC criteria on COVID-19 protocols in our institutions must we endanger our, the lives of our children for pecuniary gains should the primary issue on life and death be used on profit matter is profit making more important than the health of our children that is the that is the crux of the matter the private uh, uh, operators of private universities are in business and they approach university education with a mercantile mentality. They know that their gains will not come in if the universities remain closed. Not minding the consequences of throwing open universities without putting in place all the uh, necessary safety precautions against the COVID challenge. This is our position. 
COVID-19 is very is still very much with us. It is in recognition of this fact that the government itself has rolled out certain conditions to be met before schools are reopened. How many of our public institutions can confidently vouch for the safety of our children given the available facilities such as provision of running water for hand washing, social distancing among students, the use of recommended face masks and shields, which are key components of the NCDC protocols. A situation where a room meant for four now has 20 students cannot be said to be social distancing compliant. Our position as a responsible union on all this is that throwing schools open in the midst of all this is an open invitation to tragic explosion of the COVID-19 scourge on a scale never witnessed anywhere since its outbreak. When this happens, Nigerians will not say that they were never warned. So we are sounding this warning. We are cautioning the government to look at the issue of the safety of our children before throwing open our institutions. People can decide to turn deaf ear to this warning at their own peril. As who has spoken, it is left for the nation to listen. The state of our strike. In spite of government's attempt to blackmail Lasso for going on strike while coronavirus ravages the nation, it is instructive to put it on record that the strike at, the, at that point in time was the most patriotic and pragmatic action for the union to embark on. One would have thought that the government would use the opportunity of the lockdown to address the issues in contention with ASU. Surprisingly, and characteristic of our government, the government was carrying on as if the problem no longer exists. As we speak, the government has not deemed it fit to invite ASU for discussion. This is about four months on since the outbreak of Corona uh, pandemic. When ASU was, was taking the decision to go on strike, at that point in time, our thought was that, well, with the lockdown, nobody will go to school. Nobody will lose anything. We thought that a more responsive and responsible government would have seized that opportunity to address the matters in contention with the union. But they pretended as if the problem is no longer there. The problems are there. They have not invited ASU as we speak. So Nigerians should take note of this. Nigerians should note that IPPIS, though not part of our initial char charter of demands, has been elevated to the status of the main issue by the government. Even at that, the union has met the government's challenge for us to develop an alternative platform that will take care of the peculiarities of the university system. To this end, we have developed and presented University Transparency, uh, Transparency and Accountability Solution, UTAS, well ahead of the 18-month period that we promised while still addressing the problem of corruption has been touted by the government. The platform, which is more comprehensive and robust than IPPIS, was developed by our team of experts, completely using our resources. This is another indication that speaks to the ability of Nigerian academics to further solve so, uh, social, societal problems if given the requisite funding and enabling environment. Our final word on the ongoing action is that even if our universities are reopened today, with our demands still unattended to, the government should be blamed if our members refuse to resume work. What we are saying here is that even if COVID disappears tomorrow, or even if the universities are reopened tomorrow, with our demands not met, we are not going to resume. People should now 
mix the two. Indeed, it is not the responsibility of ASU to close or uh, open universities. It is the responsibility of the Senate of each universities. So if they reopen without attending to our demands, we are not going to resume. Our members are not going to work. So Nigerians should know that the problems are still there. Where we left it in March, when we went on this strike, still unattended to, they claim to be prosecuting COVID without attending to the needful. If the universities are reopened tomorrow, our members are not going back to work. The crisis in Unilag. When our when our union commenced the patriotic stand of ASU members in Unilag to challenge the attempt at forcing impunity on that university by Dr. Wali Babalaki, <coughs> we also salute the courage of the government to rein in its erring pro chancellor through prompt reversal of the illegal actions so far taken in contravening the University Act. ASU is, however, disturbed by the curious release emanating from a sister union challenging this proactive step taken by the visitor to arrest a brewing anarchy on that campus. Their grounds, the panel of inquiry is skewed in favor of ASU. They conveniently forgot that members of that panel are predominantly seasoned former vice chancellors with track records of university administration. While we have a non-academic as the secretary and the position which is an equally powerful position in the composition of that panel. Yes, the university thrives on the contestation of ideas, but the ideas must be well-reasoned ones, not on the frivolities of emotion-driven ego trips, as we have on display in the release of that sister union. ASU has at no time claimed that the removal of Vice Chancellor Professor Ogundipe, sorry, ASU has at no time claimed that the removed Vice Chancellor Professor Ogundipe is absorbed of the complicity in the allegations leveled against him. The position of ASU is that due process should be followed in bringing in any erring Vice Chancellor to book if found guilty. The pro chancellor should not be allowed to be overbearing in exercising his authority in council. He must always ensure that laid down rules and regulations are followed at all times. We believe that the truth must be dug out and upheld with, within the confines of the University Act. This is without prejudice to whose ox is God. Conclusion Gentlemen of the press, as we conclude this address, our insistence on the provision of necessary safety amenities in our public schools before they are reopened remain unshaken. Our strike action, which was predicated on government's readiness to honor its MOA with us, continues. Even if the universities are reopened today, it is our responsibility to call government's attention to its duties to the nation and its citizens. This we have done and there is no going back on this. Thank you for listening. Um.